Hi, my name is Dina Young and I'm a fitness instructor from Austin, Texas. And here we are in beautiful Zilker Park in Austin. About to do some fat blasting, calorie burning cardio exercises. So it's about five minutes of cardio. If you like it, add it to your favorites. Go ahead and follow along three to five times a week. So we'll go ahead and get right on into it with our warm up. So starting with high knees, you wanna make sure to lift your quad 90 degree angles off the floor. This is a soft movement. You don't wanna be stomping on the ground. I live in an apartment, so don't wanna upset my neighbors. So make sure high knees, swing those arms wide, get those arms above your heart and increase that heart rate. And right now we're gonna add a little twist, add a little obliques in there right there. This is a warm up part, so we're just getting your heart rate up. It's important to make sure to get your heart rate up before you really blast into those cardio exercises. So back to regular knees, arms high and wide. Here we go. You guys ready for this cardio? You ready to burn some fat? It's gonna be fun. Add in more oblique twigs, here we go. Last round of these, and then we'll get right on into it. Try to bring your elbow to your knee, or your knee to your elbow. Get those knees a little bit higher. Give me 10 more seconds right here, and then we'll get straight on into it. You guys ready? Knees a little bit higher. Five, four, three, two, and one. So now we're gonna start off with skaters. What you're gonna do, you're gonna plant your foot and you're gonna jump. The most important part is your landing. You wanna stick that landing. That's more important than how far away you jump. Okay, so get right on into and bounce on that right leg. And here we go for one minute. You wanna make sure that you're bouncing over that leg, that your heart's over your leg. And really stick it really plant that foot. Your goal is height, not distance. Go ahead and add in those arms. Make sure you're breathing in through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. The most important part is sticking that foot, making sure you regain your balance before you leap to the other side. And then crouch, skate, and crouch, there you go. Keep those legs engaged. Make sure to keep a bend in your quad. Last 10 seconds, we got it. Stick it. So the last 10 seconds are the most important part. And there we go. So our next moves will be a running man. I want you to go ahead and get up in plank position. You wanna make sure to spread those fingers wide. That you have a good base. I don't wanna see any of this. I don't wanna see any of this. So go ahead and get that straight back and just bring those legs up for one minute. Here we go. You wanna make sure to keep your head and your neck nice and long. You don't wanna have your head up and you don't wanna hang it down. You wanna have it straight looking in between your hands is the appropriate place for your eyes, not anywhere else. Keep that booty down. Don't wanna see any of these. And make sure to breathe. Inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth. Make sure to keep going. You wanna to lift, touch your feet at each point. Mountain climbers. Who climbs a mountain like this anyways? If you feel the burn, if you're breathing hard, go ahead and like it. Go ahead and share me with your friends. Last five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you guys feel that? Go ahead, get a drink of water. We'll get right on into it. Most important part, rehydration. So this next move, I want your feet a little bit further than hip distance apart. And go ahead and sit that booty down. Go ahead and squat it. You wanna make sure that your knees don't go past your toes. So kind of sitting down 
like you're sitting on a dirty toilet but not quite and go ahead and punch it out for me for one minute you want these to be strong you don't want to lock your elbow so make sure to protect those joints but you want to make sure somebody's grabbing your wallet you're not going to let them get it are you so punch out your core is tight your abs are engaged your butt is engaged it's what i call maximum efficiency working your arms working your legs working your core at the same time we don't have time to work out for four hours every day it's okay it's just five minutes you guys got it really strong make core tight do you feel it can you get a little bit lower how are your legs are you being lazy don't be lazy it's only a minute come on guys just punch it out just 10 more seconds right here your legs are burning you feel it just keep going and five four three two and knock them out all right our last cardio movement right here it's just squat jumps so when we go down we don't want to take our head with us if you have something written on your shirt you should be able to see it in the mirror so you're just gonna squat and jump only a minute slight little lifts make sure to keep your chest lifted keep your back flat as you're going down come on squat jumps you can do this this works your core works a little bit of arms mainly works those quads Are they burning yet yeah if they're burning you should go ahead and like me and send it to your friends so they can feel healthy nice sexy legs that we all love What's your trouble spot? You got something you want to work? You let me know. And 10 more seconds. Right here. Come on. You can do this. Five, four, three, two, and last one. All right. Now we come for the cool down. Low butt kicks. Go ahead and grab that water if you need a sip. Now move it side to side. You want to keep your arms below your heart. Lower that heart rate. Pull down is one of the most important parts of your hardcore calorie burden workout. Do this a couple times a day. Just try it. Follow along with me. You'll see the results. You want to do cardio at least three to five times a week. Work on burning those.